tech and carriage driving. It's, it's something um, to be aware of that it can, can cause a lot of danger in the meaning of that you are not on the horse or you are not able to hold yourself together. You have to walk. Uh, you have lots of stuff. And if you're not familiar with it, then it will all become like an abracadabra. This part is the most easy one. This is the head uh, color. I do not like to use it because it has blinkers on them. Blinkers, um, which, uh, with blinkers, you stop the side for 80, 90 percent. And the horse is only up, also has only the possibility to look straight ahead or down. And I don't like it because it's very dangerous. Because if they run away if they spook for whatever reason um, the horse will get himself into a big danger since this stuff was for a long time uh, in the house it's dry it's dirty first thing i'm going to do is clean it and make it a little bit wet with water it will also help uh, to fit better on the horse because then it's a little bit more supple don't be afraid of water only be afraid of letting it dry in the sun that's it so I'm going to hang this one away. It's a nice decoration. I can clean it a little bit, but I'm not going to use it, uh, especially not when a horse, uh, we have a ranquero here, who is not experienced with attack. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it a little bit wet um, and then clean it. Okay. I'm, I'm making it really wet, as you can see. Why do I do it? Because it makes it more supple, it makes it more easy to handle. Uh, no fear, I have no fear. This is a horse I never had. Uh, he had a saddle on but never had a tack on, so we're going to be <coughs> focusing on his state of mind and how he will accept it. I use a stable halter as you can see. Never use a rope halter in these circumstances, never, because something can happen. This is a leather halter and I prefer leather because it's calm, it's soft, uh, and it's gentle, so in case something happens. I also have an extra rope uh, on him, just in case. I'm not uh, provoking, uh, I think I'm provoking to be calm and easy. What I, what I found out is very important is to, to make sure that the horse has any idea of what's going to happen on his back. So. Even though I don't have to uh, talk to him, Gucci, 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 are you smelling? I can just stand here with it in my hand. And you can see on his nose, his lip is like this. <laughs> now he's more or less investigating. If I have the idea, okay, it's okay to put it on, then I'm just going to put it on as if I did that uh, always. And focus with your left eye, or actually both, focus on the state of mind. You can see there's no effect. I don't do it very soft, like as if I'm, I'm gonna, gonna kill him, because I'm not gonna kill him, I'm just putting on some tack. And now more about that later. So I'm going to put, see if it fits. Which is pretty new because he's always the fat guy. It's hard to say so, but that's true. But it means I have to be careful when it's uh, oversized, it can move too much. I'm moving it uh, just as if we did it 30 years ago. Perhaps, perhaps interesting to know. When I walk behind the horse, I always take the tail in my hand so I can feel every movement in case uh, they would like to kick or whatever or get <gasps> spooky on something. 
then I at least know and I uh, can walk away. I'm not a hero, I'm not gonna stop when a horse is kicking. Okay, the other parts of the as you can see it's it's too big. Please. It's been on the in the house for a long time. So now I have to look um, how it works. This is for the the color the tail. These are nice because you can open them. Be very gentle and very kind with this. Um, and I would advise you, anybody, uh, use a lot of fat on this part so it stays soft because it's on the weakest part of the horse. Okay, we're gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on the same way on as if I just put on a saddle, nothing special. If you respond, and in case of emergency, there's tail on it, there's tail in it. Many horses respond in this part. Many horses respond on the tail part because they don't like it. Sometimes you don't see it in a standstill, but wait until we launch him. And you can see pretty well. Well, there should be a hand here, or a little bit less, depending on how it fits. Until now, everything is going okay, right? And now people start to freeze. Even it's a branch, my husband is working on the trees. I'm not going to feed him anything, I'm just going to see his face. I like his face. <laughs> okay. Now you will understand why I use the extra rope. Because I'm going to untie him. This is the part that goes over the head, and I have to put it over the head with the rope under it, otherwise it will not fit. Prevent all accidents. So we get the rope through, put it over his head, rope through. Put it on the right place and it's, now I can tie him again or not. <coughs> it's too tall, you see? It's too big. It's all too big. Is that a problem? No, not really. Now I'm gonna tie the, what they call pants in Dutch um, on this part. Only to make sure that I don't lose anything. I'll show you in a close up, it's more easy. This is the back part, uh, which is called, which is used on the on the car carriage as a brake. Um, and in case, and this is normally where the, the carriage is um, on the uh, you know, strenge. It's in Dutch. I don't know how it's called. So I'm going to use this. I took off the leather. Because leather for practicing doesn't work. If anything goes wrong, your leather is spoiled. And, and these things are pretty expensive when you're not able to make it yourself. You shorten it because it's a little bit too big. I do it two times around. I also like it 
when there are many things making making noise. Reason because the whole carriage, if we're going to put a carriage on, will make noise. We're going to do the other side. On the other side, it's a little bit shorter, so I'm giving a little bit more length here. So they're similar, which is very uh, important that it's balanced. I'm going to check it again. This is a little bit too loose. Just one hole more. Now this, I'm gonna gonna do a close up. This part many times gives a problem because not all horses like it and m many times horses start to buck so that's why I'm going to launch him first with all this tack on and I'm going to check it I'm standing now right behind the horse I wouldn't recommend anybody to do that so I'm going to check it uh, you can see his amazing color check it all it's correct it's not going to be too easy on it not like oh cutie horsey I have to treat you like, like a doll. Or, um, I'm just checking it out if it's more or less correct. Uh, moving, and in the meanwhile, look at his face. Something might be a I think I'm going to tie this a little bit more. Two holes now. Okay, stallion, poor, poor guy. Gonna launch now.